It we know Bella. Look at what you do. Then no, when, when we receive kindness, the stream breaks. Break the stream. Break the stream. Break the stream. Don't break the stream. Please don't. <laughs> We're all good. No, OBS aside, they just wanted to shut down at random. Okay. Luna over here is a parent, so at any point, he um he has to holler at his kids to tell them to stop, or has to parent, and forgets to mute his mic. Well, he's going to be taking a drink. Half the time, I, I don't forget. Yeah. I just do. I think that covers all the drinking game rules. Mm-hmm. You guys at home can also uh, use your own channel points to redeem shenanigans, um, or even just decide to give advantage, disadvantage, or wild magic surges. So remind you, wild magic surges can kill. And they have consequences. Wild magic is the reason why I'm dying today. We're not going to beat <laughs> Wow, way to kill the lead. <laughs> no pun intended. <laughs> All right. Everybody already knew. But I think that I covers all the rules. Anything else we're missing? Nah, I think you're good. All right, let's roll that intro then. The war is coming. Not a war of men, nor of gods. One that shall be fought against an ancient forgotten foe. They are older than any god or myth, and will claim the right for the throne. Though, as the world crumbles by their schemes, the League stands opposed to them in hopes of quenching the fires of war and reigniting the flames of change. Still, the question remains, as the clock reaches to its final hour, will this league claim victory, or fall by my own hand? Welcome back, everyone. So, last point we left off. The party had taken down the Frostlota Syndicate within the city of Yukigawa. And after a bit of celebration from that of the city. Celebration? I'm going to mute. <laughs> the, the town has been working at rebuilding itself after all the things Frosto the Syndicate and their leader, Yukihime, had done. During this during a stint of downtime, about a day's worth, you'd found that uh, a couple strange occurrences. Information was revealed more within the within Zawak's tome. Dean, you had set up a new shop there using some of the pure miles who um we're staying behind. So, after a bit of an incident causing a wild magic surge, it aged you beyond your normal time. Well, as we go, as additionally, a couple weird things had happened. One, the paladin Gilbella had uncovered a familiar looking kid. So, this one not with the dirty blonde hair, but more of a brownish color, reading comic books within a dwarf books in the city. She had, <laughs> these comics had retold the stories all of you have been through from both timelines. And after 
Oh, sorry. Go on. <laughs> not, not, not just that, Mark. We also tested how up to date they were, and I smacked Gilbella upside the back of the head, and it, and that very scene appeared in the in the pages of the specific book she stole. You guys had swiped one of these stories or one of these comics and revealed that it's slowly uncovering the major points throughout your adventures. But yeah, as a new day emerges, Dean, you gain the sense that you're not long for this world. Mm. Well, today's going to be fun. As you guys wake up, what are you wanting to do? Um, Dean strolls out of his room and, uh, to, um, uh, describe how he looks at this point. Uh, his once vibrant uh, colors on his scales are more of a faint uh, crystal color as all of that beauty is fading away uh, the closer he comes to death's door. Walks out and he starts his day off by getting some breakfast. <laughs> Lock and Arbuckle. You guys Do we know about this? This is the first time you're seeing this. You spent most of the mm -hmm. time in as you got from Azuma um permission from Azuma to use the library of Ezum. Mm -hmm. To do your own personal research. All right, uh, we'll walk down to wherever the the breakfast is being had. Vok being Vok, it's just I'm wait, wait, coffee, bacon. I uh. see. As there's like three Kobe's running around here, one of them's going up to other. Uh, as the Frost Oasis has been set up now as a guild outpost, or starting to mm -hmm. be an old portal sort of helping people around. You know, it's a couple of Kobe's helping out in this area. One working as secretary, a few working. Hey, as... Kobe. Eh, eh, eh. A couple working as waitresses. One strange one, as he's going up to other guild members and looking into, the, like, going up to their table. Picking up silverware on it. Thanks. Thanks for holding this for me. And walks off. Rogue Kobe? Mm-hmm. You, and you see as one of the Kobe's looks at him going, Ah! Back through! It's like calling out to him as you get the sense as one of the newer Kobe's that has emerged. <laughs> um... Hey, uh, D. Mm, what? You feeling all right? I'm feeling you old. look. <laughs> you look a little dull. Yeah, there was a uh, accident in the Dow's Hammer with the Arcane Forge, and uh, up here, Miles got turned into a rabbit, and I got made old. Er. Did they get turned? No, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He he's no longer a rabbit. Oi, what's going on down here, guys? Oi, you look like shite. Yeah, I know. What? What? What's happening here? I <laughs> have reached an age past uh how dragonborn uh normally. Live. From the from the surge you were just mentioned. 
Yep. Like, so how do we, uh, we need to go about correcting this. Uh, I live for as long as I can, and that's that. <laughs> There's got to be a way to undo the wild's magic search. I know you've talked about it before. You wanted to live until being old and dying naturally in your in your home. Well, maybe but, maybe I've put enough into this world. Maybe the All Mother plans on putting me to good use even after I'm gone. Someone who uh follows the older mother rather diligently. Uh you're full of shit. You say you wanna you wanna live and die at the old ripe age. And you wanna die naturally. This isn't dying naturally. This is why this is the effects of a wild magic surge. Your story's yeah. not done there, lad. Even if we were to reverse the aging that the surge did, I'd only have two years tops. Hey, then that's a lot of time. No, I think I'm done. Like I said, boy, I don't believe your story is done. We still have a cape full of things with the uh, your wife's name on them. You've got a wee one. He's not that wee anymore. You are, but he still needs you. It's not. It's not your time, there, lad. I have made sure that my son would no longer need me once I pass on again. Have you spoke to him about this yet? I prepared him for the possibilities of me not coming back. But have you spoke to him about uh, its eminence? Yes, being that I was only a couple years off of death. Have you spoke to him or something like that? Don't be difficult. I feel like you're the one being difficult here. Ah, maybe. But like I said, it's not your time. I don't think you get to decide that. I'm just trying to make sure that you know where what's happened that you're on the side. I know see that you're uh you've made a choice here. I'm trying to be the one that makes sure that this is for sure the choice that you want. That's part of what I do. There are ways around this, there are ways to correct this. Being scratches his at his chin and you could see that he probably is just at the point of what happens happens he's not going to spend any of the time that he does have left Focusing on a fix. The choice is ultimately yours. And I'll respect whatever choice you make. But I'll let you know here and now I do have a way to fix it if you do choose that way. And I'll walk away. Bean is going to finish his breakfast. And then he's probably going to head on over to the Dow's Hammer to make. And, uh, uh, um, 
No. Bella, stop breaking the stream. <laughs> this looking after nothing brought to you by the Outcast Guild own D D book, Forever's Guide to the Guild. Forever's Guide to the Guild? What's in that? Well, we have guides for you to adding your own uh, adding Outcast Guild outposts to your own games. Additionally, guides for running all three of the shops. Well, three options that we have for shops, such as the Leaky Quill, run by Tazlint, who specializes in more scrolls and arcane focus. The Dwarvington Forge, as you have seen around here, ran by Domar Dwarvington III, and his focus on magical armors and weapons, along with the Broken Horn, for all those two people that actually like that guy. <laughs> There's at least seven. Eh, debatable. And then for some reason, one's not you. <laughs> but yes, oh, there's also you two additional backgrounds which you can add to your own games as the guild veteran, someone who has returned back from the guild or returned Oi. back to adventuring after retiring for some reason, and the guild legacy background, basically allowing you to be play a character that has a connection within the guild to their family. Wow, that sounds amazing! How much would a book like that run? Only eight bucks, actually. Perfect gift for your Only DM eight dollars. Special event anniversary or whatever else is coming out there. Holy crap! Additionally, if you want to go check out our Ishot IO store, we have some of our free monsters up for options, such as the Umbral Stalker and a few more in plan. But you gotta stay tuned for those. Stay tuned, everybody. Stay tuned for that. Link is in the chat for the book. All right. Uh, messages in your Discord, geeks. All right, that's the response. Cool, then that is what I'm going to do once I get to the Dallas Hammer. All right. So, Vox Arbuckle. Mm -hmm. Have you guys, would you like to go over the research you had done? Not yet. Not yet? Soon. All right. Um, Arbuckle is going to go over to Vox. And together, <clears throat> now, Bob can, uh, our book is going to do this on his own. You're going to do what? <laughs> I said our book is going to do this on his own, not with Bob. Okay, sorry. I was like, I'm not going to do this. Uh, yeah. Are you actually, are you actually smelling dope? Oh, 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 oh. No, not yet. Okay, good. That's next week. Um, and he is going to ritually cast commune. Okay. And he wants to commune with both the Raven Queen and the Almond. So for clarification, if he can, can you just one at a time. Um, you can communicate with your god. It could mm -hmm. be with both of them. However, just remember mm -hmm. the questions have to be um answered yes with or a no. yes or no. Or uncertain if it's too vague. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so, what are your questions? The first question is for the Raven Queen. <clears throat> is it his time? As you focus in, listening to this, you hear the flap of a bird's wings close by. You get the feeling of it's unsure, but leaning towards yes.
And next one's gonna be to the All Mother. Mm -hmm. It's more of a statement than a question. When he gets to you, take good care of him. He's one of the good ones. The response of yes. No, he's just going to sit there for a bit. He doesn't have a third. Okay. That's fine for now. And after a little while, he'll go meet up with uh, Bach and we'll go over all the stuff that we got. We figured out. All right. So. In the very basic information, without rolling, you have uncovered. Let me pull this up. Uh, the only arch enemy, or the only foe the dragon saw, were the giants when time mm -hmm. began. As it was stated, the lands were forged by the first battles between the first children. Uh, well, sorry. Between the children's, the children of the earth, and the children of the heavens. Dragons were more powerful, but giants could outnumber them. This war would go on for centuries. No line, no true area being gained or lost on either side. Until one day, a treaty was arranged. The giants would take half the earth, half of the planet, mm -hmm. taking over mostly what's known now as the Edenoa Archipelago to the east. As the dragons would take control of the west. Where you currently are in the continent of Castrol, including lands such as the Eternal Throne of Cersei, the Elven Kingdom. So, yes. Mm -hmm. No, it's just me showing. Okay. So. Additionally, you uncovered that the rain, as far back as the records would go for this, afterwards there would be at least 6,000 years that Ezra has seemingly tried putting together as a cohesive history of the world. Of how during that time the dragons would start focusing more on the weaker creatures of the land. The humans, primarily. As Castrol was the first continent where humans first emerged. You, uh, Vok would already know about the stories of Valos coming from the Pure Miles territory and yeah. how Valos destroyed this land, forcing everyone who lived in his territory to prove their might through trial and survival, stating only the strongest should survive. Um... Zella, the White, would be known to hunt in the southern regions, where modern day uh, the province of Silver and Wimbix would be, going after the greatest hunt creatures, forcing after there, but leaving a ravished land behind, as the crops would freeze, ice would form, and storms would follow her wherever she had traveled. Ura, the black dragon you guys had faced back at the crown, was more seen as a person uh, would more watch 
can see the dissolve of these humans. And we go down the list. The battles between Valos and his sister Zephyr would leave the land singed without regard to the humans who lived in that area. Um, the cases of the blue dragon and the storms he would create out of his own enjoyment. The lightning that would strike, more of just what they had done throughout this, throughout this time. But the biggest thing was Umir the Gold, the firstborn of the heavens, was one who reigned over each of them. He had seeked power and solace under the control he had gained, wishing to obtain any magical item that could be found, but quenching any of the knowledge that would have been that people could have gained could possibly use that same power. It also speaks of his hatred for the elves, as the elves were the first to kill a dragon lord. Thala, the breaker of man, and the green dragon lord. As they were slain by the elven hero Ari. Many years ago. Would you like to investigate further? Yes. All right. Roll me a history check, please. History. Uh, for both of them or just one? Uh, you right now. Hmm? Um, you said Vok was helping in your notes. So yeah. You would roll with advantage. Okay. Four, so 16 plus 21. 21. Of anyone. Of anyone. All right. Arbuckle. Yep. Oh, sorry. One thing I forgot before I go into the information for your research here. Zalok's attempt to find the, find the knowledge to give wizardry or to become the first wizard was said to have been started because of the terror the dragons had emerged. Mm -hmm. With a 21, you do uncover a few bits of information that were hidden behind the cipher that took you a bit to uncover. You just, uh, For one, the um, it did seem that a few of the dragon lords wish to free the humans, let them survive. Athos Silver, Zephyr the Red, and Sylvester the Blue. Though it also seemed that the strongest of the dragons, the strongest of the brass and the strongest of the copper dragons were not yet hatched at the time of these notes being gathered, as these seem to be more recent notes. Um Recent in the point of her learning magic, that would be. As the two would be sheltered within their own small outcove within the Sidewinter Mountains. Um, it appears that for most of the part, after the spell had dropped, or after, as you know, the spell that Zalok has cast, or did cast, hindered the ability of, the, of these dragons being able to alter the world beyond that point. Mm -hmm. As many were sealed away, either in objects such as Valos, as Vok would know, thanks to him wielding the Executioner Blade. Mm-hmm. Additionally, things such as others were cast into more mortal coils. Athos was one of those, along with the case of Zala, or Zella, the White. Lives that would cause them to... What the hell are you guys doing down there? 
sorry, dogs yeah. acting weird. <laughs> they would cause basically lives that would be short lived in comparison. The only two that you would know of that had expanded on this would have been Umir and Umbra. Or Urin, sorry. Which Urin mm -hmm. you guys had killed back at the crown. Yeah. Um okay. for most part you can see a bit of the research as it seemed Ezza was one of the people to help with the spells research. And this mm -hmm. seemed to be one that was even more powerful than a wish spell. The mm -hmm. spell specifically was to rewrite a timeline to how the caster had saw it or saw fit. Basically, you could remove the beginning of a family line but keep the current person alive. Mm -hmm. Though, this magic would, this same spell was theorized to put a harm to the weak. The protection of the world within its own, within a protection from the world from the chaotic magic that would come from wild space and beyond, and realms beyond that. Mm -hmm. In her notes afterwards, it would state that that spell would also be one of the creations or the beginning of the Eldritch Storm. And the Eldritch Storms have been going since that time? Yeah. Uh, you would also know from your experience, Harbuckle, or from your life experience, mm -hmm. the Eldritch Storms also got worse after the after No Man's Land was created. Mm -hmm. As it damaged the weave even more. The notes also state that the same spell in normal circumstances could not be cast again. As the, as even Zalak had said, the weave was forbidding it. Above table, mm -hmm. this is basically the tale. You're learning about the information of someone casting a spell beyond ninth level. Mm-hmm. Is, uh... Does it say anything about a way to repair the weave? No. Unfortunately, the weave is one of the things that many scholars have studied for years, for centuries. Mm -hmm. And even the most well-learned of them. Is unsure of how to mend that land. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Anything specific yes, you're trying to look into here, Arbuckle? This is a fucking heavy day. Um, so you got yes, a 21, but right? Yeah. You did find out within the last, the days before that spell being cast, mm -hmm. Zalek had talked to Ezza about an alteration, originally planning to erase them, mm -hmm. as it seemed even the betrayers of the Dragon Lord. We're agreeing with this plan. Mm -hmm. You seek to give them a second chance. Ezra clearly was not on the same page. As she wished to see them all be eradicated. From mm -hmm. her own life and the stories you're reading here, the reason why, through the battles of Valos and Zephyr, Ezra was left mm -hmm. an orphan. Mm -hmm. The dragons have killed her family. And she has always had a slight hatred for them. Mm 
does it say anything about consequences to removing the dragons from existence? Roll me an investigation check. Not 20. Oh, damn. All right. So, as it oh, is... Net 20. Eh, it's good. Just do it. Looking through here, <laughs> you do find... A... Even a spot... Even a spot Izuma did not notice, thanks to your mm -hmm. high... Your high perception, Arbuckle. Mm -hmm. Fuck off this uh, perception. Oh. Yeah, his, his fuck you, I see everything perception. Mm -hmm. God cannot hide from me perception. Nope. DM, do I see you from down here? Mm -hmm. But hey, God, just me, Margaret. You find a secret compartment within her desk. Takes a bit of time, but thanks to Vok, maybe a, you you tell me if you break something or not type thing here. Mm -hmm. You're able to find what looks like her own personal. Mm -hmm. Now, as you peer through it, you see nothing but jargon about alchemical symbols needed, plans for what could occur and what should emerge. Mm -hmm. But you are able to find the point of where Eza had theorized about what would happen when the dragons were removed. Mm -hmm. The way that she saw it would be while, well, yes, the giants would reign more around the world, they would be much easier to handle than the might of a dragon. Mm -hmm. um, as it would go on, it would mention you'd see basically the same thing of wizardry would not um, wizardry would not become a hidden art as many users had seeked it out even before the first wizard had the first wizard Zala had been successful mm -hmm. you see going on further roll me an arcana check please eighteen eighteen mm-hmm you see her mentioning as it goes on is it's sort of throughout this entirety of this book. This is the whole day. This is all yesterday you were researching this on. Mm -hmm. And you can find within it a, what looks like some type of research notes on longevity would explain why as a, a hum, you know, as a being a half elf mm -hmm. during the era of dragons has survived longer than any full blooded elf would have. She was yeah, around yeah, after the Great War. And that's almost that's a time gap of about four thousand years. Moving onward, you see her mentioning certain things such as the elf population would not have been eradicated mm -hmm. during the Great War, as her theories were the Great War would never have occurred. She's always felt the presence of dragons around, and she and the reason why she had created this whatever she was working on about longevity to stop the any coming of dragons. She had worked on this where it was. Sorry. She had um, studied more on to this point and watched out for them and had beliefs that Umir had disguised himself as an elf. So, not, not able to use the same power she once had, as it would be hard to explain to them how she has survived so long. 
you have found that she is written even into late in her life even thinking of a possibility of recasting this spell thinking of using the possibility of this to um in within no man's land where the weave would be weaker allowing for the magic to flow more freely But it seemed that she was theorizing about it. And the major point she had pulled out is the Great War would never have occurred. The day of cataclysm, the creation of no man's land, would have never have happened. She theorized wizardry would still last. As she feared, as she especially feared what would happen after the eggs had hatched. She mentions two children. One with hair of gold. And like one mother. that reminds her of the color of rust. One gifted with the art of telling stories. Another of listening, of keeping track. The copper and the bronze dragon. Though hatched from an egg, hatched from their egg, they emerged as human. The thing she never thought would happen, as she had been tasked with watching these. For years. <laughs> Additionally, with the 20, roll me another arcana check, please. Enough. Fifteen. Fifteen. Uh... You see something that looks similar to a, a formula with teleportation oh, yeah. circle? Mm -hmm. And you see something written down the dragon's lair. You think possibly it could mean? Mm -hmm. It's in more old language. It's in more old common than, you know, the common you have grown up with. No. But yeah. Could be a teleportation circle, but you can't. No, you rolled a 15. Yeah, that is a sigil for a teleportation circle. Mm -hmm. what? Listed as a dragon slayer. Sorry, I thought teleportation circle was a 6th level spell, not 5th. I think teleport is 6 or 7. 7th. Mm. Okay, but there you go. Wow. A lot That's of information, awesome. some good rolls. Yeah. Okay. He's just going to sit and absorb that overnight, and then in the morning, go get breakfast, and we still have that one. Yarbuckle, roll me a straight intelligence check. No, because he's not smart. <laughs> Well, actually, I'll say Vok or Ar uh, Vok or Arbuckle, either of you. No. Arbuckle got an eight. Vok got it. Straight intelligence. Yeah. Does that have my intelligence modifier? Yep. Oh, yeah. Arbuckle got an eight. Vok got an eighteen. So you can use whichever one you like. You choose. I mean, clearly I'm going to choose Vok. Okay. <laughs> Vok, I presume you sort of know what Arbuckle's idea is, right? Yeah. One, it's an interesting concept. 
that you mm -hmm. realize that the dragons never existed. Playlorn never exists. Mm -hmm. Or Playlorn drastically changes because the dragon had affected those tribes. Yep. Playlorn exists. His weapon no longer exists. Pure Miles Everyth no longer Pure exists. Miles and... uh -huh. So he'd be back with his family. In theory. There you go. All right. Um, Vok's gonna look at our level after researching all this and finding all this out. Uh, I, I know what you're thinking here. Is this still on the table? This uh, this is gonna be huge if you do this. And we have no guarantee it'll work, and we could fuck things up even more. Oh yeah, that's why I'm not going into this decision lightly. I'm trying to find out everything, everything again, everything we can. Because I don't think it's just a... Uh... Just the dragons that'll be going. All the Vitor will be affected. Some better, some worse. I don't know if I can handle that in my conscious. There's a lot of innocence that'll be lost. And again, if the plans with the dragons go through, a lot of innocence will be lost that way as well. Something where I need to talk with the group. See what the group has to say. We'll discuss it in the morning. We're in a, a bit of a piece right now. Shouldn't be too much going on. We'll figure it out over breakfast. Next day, walk down Dean's old yeah. shit. I'm gonna die. Fuck you. Mm -hmm. Has the door been set up yet? Yes. Uh, basically, for the doors is right now. It's in the process of becoming permanent. But mm -hmm. the, current, the guy who's running this has his badge on that door. It has to be there for a year. Okay. Um. When Dean is done doing what he's doing at the Battle's Hammer, he's going to want to head to his other shop. Oh. And uh, see uh, Sonny. Sonny is shocked to see you in the state you're in right now. Yeah. Dad? Hey, you know. Is this like when you went to the Feywild? Does time move differently again? No. Yes. Wild magic bullshit again. Okay, uh, well. I mean, uh, you helped me when I turned blue that one time. Uh, I'm sure. I'm sure someone around here has something like that. Well, why don't you uh sit down for a second? I want to talk to you about something. Roll me a persuasion check. Persuasion. Uh, it's going to be a 17. All right. 
you see his like son. He's like, no, no. I mean, uh, he like as as he's going through the panic stage. Like, okay, yeah, we, let's let's talk to someone. Uh, I don't. Uh, Guardians aren't around. Maybe no more. Uh, and you tell him that, and he looks at you for a side and goes, "No, no, no." Last time you told me that. When I felt mom left. Uh uh. And I I actually do need to talk to you about your mother too. Well we'll get to that in a second. So uh You told we knew that you were up there in age. No. No. Yep. Just see like your child frustrated at you as that recognition of your of that tell of like this is it i go and i and i give him a, a hug a tight squeeze as he he sort of returns it starts crying a bit he starts to cry a little bit and he goes on yeah. about but no no the shop needs you, you know. Guild needs you. Get out. As he starts to really ball, not even really paying attention to you, going, I still need you. You know, I'm always going to be with you, and I'm never going to leave you. Ever. All the things that I've taught you up to this point has been to make sure that you can go by, that you can get by and that you can become the man, not that I want you to be, but that you want to be. You- I, I still fuck up. I still need you around. You, you don't think I don't fuck up, son? I don't want to lose I... another parent. Mary lost mom. She left. She left us. Oh, I don't want you to leave either. Not yet. Unfortunately, that is the way that it has to be. You have done nothing what made me proud over the years. You had held down the shop while I was gone. I know damn well you can do it again for however long that you decide to. You know, I got to do something really cool. I got to be a part of a crew that made me, albeit for a short time, made me feel like I was your age again. <laughs> and we were able to free some people who were forced to do horrible, despicable things only because they didn't know any better. And now they're free. No longer slaves of war. And while that, that was a pretty big accomplishment, my greatest achievement is you, kid. I love you with all my heart, and that will never change. You just now, see he starts to ball uncontrollably, holding on to you, just repeating the same words of, I don't want you to go.
I know, son. I know. Now, I do need to prepare you for one more thing. Um, I haven't personally ran into her, but the crew that I fell in with ran into your mom. And I can't help but think that even after I'm gone, she's going to try to get back at me. She's not going to know that I'm gone. And the boss. Yeah, I'm sorry. I actually started choking there. <laughs> I got a pistachio in wrong tube. Yeah, you gotta be careful when you're swallowing with nuts. <laughs> Sorry. Moment of levity over. Don't die. And eh. and so your mom is likely gonna show up at some point. And you might try to take you. You might try to do something really fucking stupid. But when you do see your mother, you tell her, you tell her it's going to go. Uh, your mic's acting real Yeah, weird. it's not, it's the kids. Boys! Quiet down. Yeah, no, both the kids were getting really loud. Okay. Yeah. So. Okay. Hunter! Stop! Jeez. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> yeah, I do. I do have to drink for that. I have to take a couple of drinks for that. Oh, God damn. Okay. <laughs> okay. Are, are we fixed? Are we back? Yeah. Is everything working? I mean, okay. Clearly you're not fixed. You have a kid. Yeah. Yeah. Your, 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 your mother is inevitably going to show up and when she does she will likely not know that I have moved on. Moved off this mortal coil. And that's going to be that is probably going to either make her completely lose it Or maybe it'll give you the chance to tell her to step the fuck up as a parent. By the way, I know that you can do this. You are never alone. So, why don't you come with me? We'll close up the shop for the evening. And I'll have you meet some of the people that I have traveled with for this last little bit. It's a, he sort of nods, wipes away some of his tears. Okay. If you need to take a minute, take your time. You said a minute. Yeah. 
me see if he... God damn it, Mark. <laughs> I don't... I don't know. All right. I didn't understand what you just said. I don't know. Oh, I don't okay. think he understood what he just said. You're like in a, or... yeah, you say, in a minute, just take your time. Oh well, yeah. Then okay, I thought you were saying something back. Anyway, so after he spends his minute and whatever, I I I'll take him to uh, I'll take him to Yukigawa, so right. that way we gotta uh, rename that. So that way he can meet Arbuckle and Vok and and I can show him the Dow's hammer since once I die, it's his. So, all right, as you do, he is introduced to the Dow's hammer. Employees in it. Hey. Oh, all you knuckleheads! This is your new boss. How old is your kid? Um, didn't think that far ahead. Adult, uh, 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 adults in Dragonborn years likely younger than a few of the people in here. <laughs> so, I want that, to, like like eighteen. So like eighteen in human years, or eight, or like twenty something in human years. Twenty something in human years. Okay, then he's eighteen years old. That's not the equivalent of a twenty-one year old human for a Dragonborn. They don't live that long, surprisingly. Nope. Any Dragonborn character I have is dead anyway, and not of natural causes. All right. So. It made them a bit. Some of them are surprised. You have to explain to them about what's going on. Oh, yeah. I'm dying. This is my son. And now your boss. Anyway, there you go. <laughs> I kiss exposition. No, not even cast exposition. I just imagine walking in. Oh, yeah, I forgot to tell you guys. I'm dying. He. This is my son. Uh, this is my son. Oh, hi. 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 He's your new boss. Oh yeah. The I'm fuck? Dying. Yeah. You've got I, a I, bunch I... of crotchety old pure miles that are now in your employ, and you just told mm -hmm. them that some kid is their boss. They all yeah. looked at you and went, "The fuck?" Yeah, it's gonna be. Uh, it, it, <laughs> I, I ain't digging into my uh, in, into my heart a second time to no. talk to a bunch of fucking pure miles. Like I did it with my son, and that's about as good as you're gonna get. <laughs> All right. No, I, uh, no, I'm just that's I'm fine. Just I'm just, I was just cutting over like the quick notes. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. A bit of I'm a shock. They take a bit of time, but then they understand about it. A yeah. Couple of them seem to give your son shit, but he's your kid. They're gonna do that. Yep. He knows how to dish it back. Yep. <laughs> That's fair. All right. As you, as you do, their reaction is a bit shocked and mixed. That they're sorry to hear about your passing. The guy who actually caused the wild magic surge is full on apologizing to you and your son, as he feels the worst about it. Don't don't beat yourself up too much. You 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 made a dumb decision, and in a way, you're learning. <laughs> Albeit, there might be some trauma there now, but it's okay. He's like he gets off the floor from just crying, a and he's just like, "You're learning. It's okay." And he's like literally <laughs> on the floor, bawling. I killed the guy who just gave me a job. You're learning that actions have consequences. Um. After that, uh, get gonna spend time with uh with with the crew and uh oh, 
Hey, Buck. Yeah, bud. I got something for you. What you got? I reach into my bag of holding and I pull out some boots. And I set them down in I front like of you. Boots. Yeah, these are, these, these, these are the Dow boots. Uh, I said that I would make them for you. And then uh, I, uh, you know, found out that I got fucking old. So I made them for you. <laughs> Thank you. No problem. Who's, who's this guy? Oh, this is my son. Sonny, Thank this you. is Vak. Is his hey. name Sonny? Yeah. Yep. Your name, Sonny? Good to meet you, kid. You yeah. got a hell of an old man here. No pun intended. Sorry. Uh, oh, no. I've been making fun of it since yesterday. Fair. Uh, saved my life a couple times. Should be proud of him. Hope you are. He, he's still a bit choked up at all this. But he nods. You get the sense that, yeah, he is Mm -hmm. He still holds up his dad as one of the greatest people. Yeah. If uh, once this, once the time comes, if you ever need anything, let us know. Thank you. He and his family to us, so that makes you family to us. Dean gives a nod. Dean, uh, Anna, Dean. Vak goes over to Dean, gives him the, the broke handshake, pulls him in, gives him a hug, and just goes, I got eyes on him. Thank you. Are the boots in D and D Beyond? No, not yet. But you have them in chat. Oh, come on, man! <laughs> I forgot about these. Okay, it's been like four it, months. It has been a while. We had like one month of just one shot because shit was happening with everyone. Fucking life. I know. Fucking life. Why the fuck you got to come first, life? Arasa. I'll find him later. I'll look at it later. Okay. Um, All right. I need a drink. Our Buffalo will do the same. He'll come up, he'll introduce himself, and say a couple nice words. All right. And then uh, at some point after they're drinking or whatever, our Buffalo will pull Dean aside. How you at? What's up? Sorry about this morning. Oh, it's fine. Whoa. Took me for a bit of a surprise. Um, I reached out to uh, the Raven Queen and the old mother. Yeah. I asked them if it was your time. They weren't sure, but ultimately it's your choice, like you said. And I'm going to respect that, and I'll do whatever I can to help you. Um, so be this. I'll, I'll help guide you as much as I can from this side. To the Raven Queen, and to the All Mother's Embrace. She's I appreciate it. You. She's going to take you in. She's going to make sure you're taken care of. You're a good man, Dean. And you got a good son. And we'll take care of him for you. You're a good man, too, Arbuckle Jones. Eh, don't go spreading those lies. <laughs> Let's have another fucking drink. This shit's too heavy right now. Agreed.
Let's party like it's your last day on uh, on Israel. Bum bum bum. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that is what we do. <laughs> That's some motherfucker. I was gonna wish you back, you dumb cunt. Oh, I know. <laughs> <laughs> so. That's as we're half in the bag. As <laughs> you guys spend the night celebrating, talking about the stories throughout your life. Dean's son, Sonny, just tells a couple of the strange stories growing up and the tales of his dad. Stuff you guys had done. stuff, Even that minor stuff you didn't think was important, he was telling that to everyone. That was the most important So, as night comes to an end, Dean, well, Arbuckle, as you said, stay by him until last time. I'm by your side. As Dean, you settle down, feel yourself resting for the last time. As I see him starting to fall asleep and go, I start praying to uh, Raven Quinn. I was going. I, I I was going to. Uh, I I was fully prepared to beat the crap out of you because, it's like, as he's laying there, he hears "I wish," and then I'm like, "Yo, oh, motherfucker!" <laughs> he's sitting there. He's laying there, watching him sort of fall asleep. He takes off his hat, reaches in, grabs the skull scroll. <laughs> What you see as your eyes start to close, Dean, you feel lighter. Your spirit lifts from your body. You see the end. You see Arbuckle there giving you the last rite of the All Mother. And you hear these heavy footsteps. You figure standing there in this doorway. They look at first, it looks like almost a reaper at first. This massive figure, a cloak of feathers, dressed, adorned almost like a plague doctor. Steel light glows from each hole. As you just see, this, he's telling me to come, and I'm like, hmm. You gotta get one less load out. <laughs> He has, he just gestures you, hand gestures, but you understand what it means. Of oh, come with me. Come with me if you want to live. Well, time to go. And I walk on through. You follow. The room becomes light once more. You hear like a rhythmic tap, almost feeling it's Morse code. Thank you for watching, friend. As Dean, explain to me what you see when you were guided to your own realm, your last resting spot, your personal. There's this field of grass with a singular oak tree uh, next to um, a hut. The hut is made up of natural materials, uh, not uh, it. Nothing, no masonry, no work from tools or from a forge, just raw materials building up this hut and a stream or a river 
that goes on past with a spot where I could go fishing. And I go into my hut and I hang up my tools for the last time and I go fishing. All right. So. Arbuckle. Mm-hmm. You feel the sensation as he pats of a familiar presence. A friendly one. He, mm -hmm. of, you get the feeling of this. Not hearing it. But the sensation of he's okay. I help a new friend. <laughs> All right. Well, Peter Rush is your friend. You earned it. And I'll make you know to them. Put my hand on the forehead since his eyes are already closed. Okay. So. You guys want to take a little bit of a break? Sure. Need it? <laughs> <laughs> yep. It's the last words of the guild for the member. You've seen this all too many times. It's, his, it's the will? Yeah. And it should be in your Discord. I see it. He's going to take him and he's not going to raise it just for his so. Mm -hmm. It should be done. Uh -huh. Um, Sonny, I feel like you should read this as well. Takes it, reads over it. There's a part in there towards the bottom. Um, how he would like his remains handled. I can handle part of it. Would you be comfortable handling the second part? Or shall we find one of the, uh, the no. guild forge masters? I can do it. As Sonny's also a follower of the All Mother. And Arbuckle, you would know to those that mm -hmm. follow um, All Mother as a god of the forge and god of creation, mm -hmm. that's a common practice. In fact, a lot of them will either hunt down animals who use bones of animals that were butchered and such as a way of creating steel and other parts of them. Yeah. Never the... Could you do me? Sorry. Oh, God. I'm sorry. Again, it's not as bad as like they'll use the skin of someone, mm -hmm. but the bones and certain material that usually wouldn't be cremated easily, like scales, mm -hmm. would be used in a way. Could you do me a favor when you're doing this? For uh, for the crew, would you be able to make something like a shield that we can hang in the wall of the boat in memory of the boat? I think you'd like that. You too. Um. 
I'm sure we'd be happy to help if there's any way or if you'd like to do it yourself. Um, I'll, I'll do it. That's, I can handle it. Okay. Just... I'm sure. I'm sure you're very skilled. I'm sure you're quite if you ever need anything, like uh, Sir Buck said, we're here for you. You're part of our family. I'm sorry, it's funny hearing Arbuckle go Sir Vok. Mm hmm. But he's not captain anymore. Yet. <laughs> Different kind of captain. All right. No, it's only in the rebellion. Thank you. Well, thank you for making my dad's last days some of the best. Hey. He helped us all. More race than he knows. I'm sorry for your loss. Thank you. Once, once you're ready, you let us know one more. You'll be in the you'll be in with the girls. All right. I have a spot picked up for him. Once we have him, his remains set. Would you let me know when you're ready? He takes a bit of time just to. He makes his promises to his dad. I swear to God, I'll pistol whip the next guy that says shenanigans. Uh, I'll cast gentle repose just to keep him from. Keep him fresh. I mean, it's not like <laughs> he's going so to spend does. like two days. Yeah. It's like he spends, you know, probably. I know, but just so it, did, it, it doesn't get funky in here. Okay. But yeah. As soon as he takes that, he promises his dad that he'll keep the shop running. He'll live up to his expectations and be the person that he, his dad saw in him. He promises he'll even become a better forge master than him. As he looks towards you and goes, Okay. Um, good. Okay. Um, how do, do we respectfully get him what he needs so he can do his forging? Basically, it's he says he's good. <laughs> you see the Kobe, you start moving him mm -hmm. as. Take the him back to the most. Yeah. Take him back to my shop. Go, basically, they're bringing back to your shop, back to your mm -hmm. area. That stuff happens there. It's off camera. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to be sitting there. Okay, yeah. roll me to see <laughs> if you can. We carry need to roll a bond. survival check to see if we can what we can harvest from Dean. And there goes my <laughs> dick. Great. Dick! Oh look, he's like an octopus now. He's throwing at someone. Hey, go fuck yourself. <laughs> gonna mount your head on a pike outside my door. I'm having my body repurposed into uh, weapons and armor, and fucking, I'm sitting here, and he's like, this is going to run in the background, I'm not going to sit here and be all like, alright, I'm going to make you roll for this, and I'm like, and that's when my dick comes <laughs> off. We, we send that to your wife. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> but that is Send handled. a bag with it, eat a bag of dicks, bitch. <laughs> that is handled, uh, Arbuckle. A bag of devouring. What? That is handled. Our book. Uh -huh. as... mm -hmm. So he gets the stuff, and within a couple days, he said you'll get the shield. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. What? He made it through a battle. While we're trying to get things cleaned up, that's when he fucking dies. Yeah. Yeah. Well, magic is a bitch. Easiest way of getting out of doing my chores. Well, magic? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, where's the ship? I don't know. There was... I think they're still stuck in the midair because they weren't able to move. 
Hey. Hey, Navi. You're still there. You're up and running again. Um, no. Um, we landed, but... No, you're here. You hear us through the badge. Oh. Um. Yeah. Let's go to the boat. We head to the boat. Since they landed, they're back here now, right? No. Oh. They landed. Not. They, not they landed, not target. here. Gotcha. Where did you land? Uh, about two days west of here. I gotta talk to myself for two days? No. <laughs> we can try, um, I can try getting movement going. It's just it might be a little bit slow. Alright. While Bach is talking to Navi, Arbuckle is going to hit the badge and reach out to Domar. Mm -hmm. Just to ask him to keep an eye on Sunny. You get, you get a response of he will. We lost Dean. Um, his boy is an up and coming character. He's got a lot of stout, a lot of skill. Keep an eye on him, if you could. All right, I'll do. How do you guys hold up? Um, I don't know where the fuck your Bella went. She up and disappeared. Your Bella's uh, been there with you that day. I don't know this thing. She has not been mentioned once. Basically, basically, Gilbella's been there with you guys. She's just sitting off in the corner going, squirrel. The first time she's been quiet, because <laughs> the, probably the first time she's dealt with a death that hasn't... ...and it cooled down successful. Yes. What? I turned my air conditioner on for 30 minutes. I called the icebox protocol. Okay. <laughs> that is that I mean, I want my Alexa to be Jarvis. I mean, that is pretty cool. <laughs> See, yeah. I like Alexa, Frosty. Here's what I found. No, shut the According fuck up. Wikipedia, Come on, do it right. Don't make me look like a dick. Cake. Make Alexa, sure you will... shut the fuck up. Anytime I told bitch. my Alexa to shut the fuck up, she said, well, fuck you too, then you big fat bitch. <laughs> well, so you said it to say that. <laughs> Alexa, Frosty. Sir. Icebox protocol has been initiated. Commencing 30 minute cool down. <laughs> nice. Okay, okay back to the lot. It's the simple things. Yeah. Um. Um. Just, uh, you do see Gilbella holding a strange comic. Gilbella, what you got there? Uh. She explains to you it's something she got yesterday from this kid. Um, you see on there it's the League of Extraordinary Failures. And on the cover you notice a a yellow bugbear. Mm hmm This is like a Simpsons bugbear. Called no. <laughs> called Axeman, who has a magic axe that returns to him. The shiny bandit, a human paladin, and on mm. a with them is a what looks like a dragonborn mm. called Scale Man, or sorry, Thunder Man, as he has these fists of thunder. Mm. And you look through it. If you want to look through it, I'm gonna look through. It. You see the previous days. You see your research. You see what Bach and Dean, what are what Gilbella and Dean were up to. You now, and you see, flip to one page where it's sort of blank, and you see you the ink move careful. where you're hold, where you see as, um, do you see as this, this old Herbal holding the comic? No, it's just fine, fine looking gentleman. And this speech bubble pops up. Yeah. In the same panel. 
Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. explains uh-huh. to you that she got this from a kid. Mm-hmm. You apparently had a whole bunch of them. Mm-hmm. And she wanted to grab one. Well, this one was the one she grabbed, and he didn't know about it. Awesome. Hey, where did you find this thing? Uh, just this kid over at Dwarf Bucks. You know where he got it from? Well, he said his sister got him for him. But his uh, sister? He didn't say. And she explains as it was weird because when he asked her, when she asked him that, when she got up, she realized everyone within the shop, besides her and that kid, were Wait. terrified of something. And as soon mm-hmm. as he calmed down when she was leaving, it was like she could tell he was something was up, but not exactly what. Mm-hmm. Everyone went back to normal. Interesting. Let's head over there and see what we can find. I'd like to find out a little bit more of information about this. Something does the same, right? Yeah, what the fuck? Axeman? They couldn't come up with a fucking better name? It also looks like it comes up from a kid's fucking story book. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I swear to God, I'm guessing the curses are just like guy that says shenanigans. special characters. Yep. They're not actually showing. Yep, just like pound at exclamation mm-hmm. dollar sign. Yeah. Shift one through five. Actually, no. They're not even that. It actually senses <laughs> you, so you sound like, you know, Gee whiz, Batman, they're tough. Oh, <laughs> oh we're 60. Mm. It's... Why am I wearing my underwear on the outside? <laughs> it doesn't look that bad, but I mean more of this looks like a kid's, like an actual kid's comic where they're not going to say, mm-hmm. you know, fuck shit. It's like, darn, damn it. It's, Ar- it's Archie, but us. Yeah, it's like Spider-Man, but you guys instead of the whole Damn! Darn! Shoot! Yeah, well, um, me, fucking Gilbella. We'll head over to Dwarf Books. Let's see if we can see if the kid's still there. Alright. Um, I'm guessing Sonny is left at this point and gone on to do his thing. Yeah, Sonny left to prepare for. Mm-hmm. But okay. And Vok is like, um, We'll get to you as soon as we can. Let us know if there's anything that we can find here that would help for repairs to Navi. All right. Thank you. Will do. But, okay. As you guys go back to Dwarf Bucks. Second time you've gone into one outside, and first time outside of Iron Hall. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh, the last one was in one of these places. They had these cake pops. They were fucking delicious. You can actually see them. I right behind the counter. It's the same way as usual. Mm-hmm. You see a cobalt in there. Same one you saw that morning of stealing people's forks, stealing people's coffees again. As he's Go like ahead. holding a shirt of he's holding he has like a shirt over it, which is the Dow's hammer. Mm-hmm. Thank you for holding this for me. I needed this. No, that's mine. You're holding mine. But it's mine. <laughs> and, like, leaves the shop with half-drink coffees. And he's, got, and he's holding a Dow's hammer. Shirt. No. He has, like, a Dow's hammer shirt on. Sort of like he's working there today at that same rookie Kobe. Mm. Uh, that, that's mine. That's mine. Kobe. What? Is that all really yours? Yes, they're holding it for me. <laughs> As he's Stop walking stealing. off. <laughs> Stop stealing shit. I ain't stealing shit. It's mine. Mark Mark wasn't there for the one shot. You weren't was there he? for the one shot. <laughs> nope. 
I I I made this road, Kobe. <laughs> I legitimately like went through uh Heidi's backpack and started tossing shit out of it and kept telling her, no, they're both my backpack. This backpack is for my hoard, and then the backpack on my back is to carry all my other stuff. <laughs> <laughs> and Mark, I did that all fucking session. You see, like, the paladin Kobe chasing his ass down. I give, I give an elbow to Arbuckle. <laughs> That's gonna be funny. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> it's Barbarian Kobe just kind of behind no. Pally Kobe. <laughs> Barbarian Kobe's not there, but you see Pally and Kobe like, I told you, stop stealing from people, you're making us look bad. <laughs> Smite him! <laughs> um, okay. As you go into the shop, you see the same thing. Very much <laughs> that clean no. design. Ah! Like walking in any Starbucks. Dwarf bucks. Yeah. Branding. And the, the <laughs> same symbol, which is a dwarf that looks like they have almost a fin, but it, uh, it looks close up, looks like a dwarf with a mermaid tail. But then you notice it's just the beard. Being held up and presented. Uh, you notice. And you notice in there the baristas are calling out names, and clearly they are not the right names with people are questioning, going, Sent? You mean Brent? Sent? <laughs> Revan? You mean Devin? A. A. Ron? Jay Quellen? <laughs> Say it right. Say it right. <laughs> and one more. <laughs> we need a Jay Quellen. <laughs> in case that in, in case I missed it, there's a shenanigans in chat. Yeah. Okay. No, I drank for <laughs> no, is I'm guessing Pally Kobe was surprised Kobe. No, the thief Kobe was that, but it's. Ah. I don't know what to call this one, the Klepto Kobe. He's he's part of the rookie Kobe's. He, he, Kobe too, the new wave. He's 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 Horde Kobe. Yeah, Horde. And stream guys. Did it die? What happened? Yeah, no, it's back. There. Okay, it's back. I'm like, oh yes, they shut down this time. Yeah, liar. I was looking at a blue screen with a camera key slashing through it. You're a liar. Dirty liar. Okay. Filthy. Filthy, dirty little liar. Um, yeah, so does um Gil Bella see anybody? I should roll me perception check. I'm not Gil Bella. I know, but I want you to roll me a perception check too. I... Go to Vok. Yeah, and remember, Vok is too busy with his cake, with his cake pop, so he doesn't see. Good, and you roll the two, and Arbuckle does have a disadvantage. Mm -hmm. A perception. So, uh, with Vok, with a total of a nine, and that's oh, and for the buckle, he rolled a four and a five. Four and a so the four is a twenty. <laughs> yeah, I, I I expected that much. You got a fucking plus twenty in your perception there, boy. I have a plus sixteen. <laughs> oh damn. Okay, so with that, uh, don't Gil see shit. Gabella looks around for a bit, tries finding him, and then you know, um. Arbuckle, you are the one to notice. Because as she explained, he looked like a human. And in mm -hmm. Sidewinter, the only real human you've seen is Gilbella. Mm -hmm. So you see a little human kid, untied shoes, a Cosmic Rider Leo backpack on, as he's like looking through this box that's lab labeled uh, Lost and Found. Mm hmm. And he's standing next to this. She's an elf, like trying to help him look. Oh no, I'm 
we'll find it. Don't worry. No, no, my sister's gonna be mad. She's gonna be mad. She's gonna be mad. I can't. I need. I need. I... Roll me a history check, Arbuckle. Not twenty. Is that was well, disadvantage. Oh, fuck, disadvantage, mother bitch. Eleven. Eleven. She looks familiar. You think you've seen her face before? You can't put it where though. As he's looking through, and you see him pull out just someone's jacket, someone's belt. A guy left a couple daggers there. I'll go to. Hey, uh, hey there, Volk. Does, does that person look familiar for you? Nope. <laughs> Roll the one. Two. All right. And for history, that's a five. Yeah, no. Not really. But Gilbella does point out that looks like the kid we talked to yesterday. That's, oh, that's the kid you were talking to yesterday. Mm -hmm. Um, our book will go up quietly. Ah, Peter, son, how you doing there? How are you doing there, laddie? He just sort of like jumps for this. No, oh, no, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hey. I didn't mean to startle you. Hi. How you doing? I'm okay. How are you? I'm good. Um, uh, do you need um, to look in the lost and found too? I would actually wanted to ask you a question. My friend over there, and I'll point to Gilbella, said you had um had some interesting books with you yesterday or the other day when she saw you. Mm -hmm. Do you still have them? Uh that's why I came here, trying to find them. All of them or she said you had a bunch. Uh, and they're all gone. One. Just one? Can may, may I see one? Do you have the other ones with you still? I no, I just had one. Oh, you just had the one. Oh, I thought you said he had a bunch. She said he had a bunch. Oh. Oh, so she was lying to me. Roll insight <laughs> if you want to see. Roll insight. Somebody's lying. Fucking disadvantage. Insight. For our buckle. Okay. I rolled a 19 and a 17. All right, 19 and a 17. So the, seven, the 17 is a 28. 28, okay. I am yeah. fucking insightful. You realize, <laughs> okay. The kid is a mixture of lying and not lying. Mm hmm. When he said just the one. Mm hmm. He's being honest. However, he's, he's looking not... for just the one. No, like oh, he's yeah, he's looking for the one he was saying, mm -hmm. not just one. Mm -hmm. And you're getting a sense of he's not telling the whole truth. No. Ah, lad, lad, what? He's a little. Does he look male or female? Uh, Can I guess? I don't like, want to assume. He looks like a nine-year-old boy. Okay. But you you said you were looking for a club one. Is there a specific one that you are missing or are looking for? Uh, this is a comic book or a or, or, or a regular like a novel or what? It's a comic book. Okay. Was it a number on? Was huh. it number one? It's the League of Extraordinary Failures. Why? I haven't heard of that. Um, could you tell me a little bit about it? My friends saw it yesterday, and they they were quite intrigued by it. They said they had a. They said they were talking to you yesterday about it. Yes. Uh. Roll me persuasion, please. Would my other wild magic set fix this? No. It's just, there's no fix on it. It's just kind of there. It's kind of there. Basically, you and anyone 30 feet is unlucky. Being kind of... Anyone... 
Is anyone within 30 feet of me? Yeah. Because I thought that was the other thing. I no. didn't think it was just me. As you and the wild magic search was you you got first one was you have a free use of greater restoration. Uh huh. The other one is you are very unlucky. Anyone within thirty feet of you is you and anyone within thirty feet of you has disadvantage on checks. Which I just realized something. I mean, it doesn't really matter. This kid, I'm rolling low. Uh huh. But uh, yeah. Now, um, what was your persuasion? Uh, I'm eight. Yeah, you beat me. <laughs> I rolled a seventeen and a two. Well, at least we're on an even playing field because we're both at this advantage. Yep. Uh, so what you get is um, he explained pretty much mm -hmm. the story you've gone through so far about how you hear stuff about Vok of yeah, well, it started off when when the big bad, this the Shadow Lord was and he he starts hyper fixating but going like the shadow lord was trying to torment this town and this little group of the shadow man axe man uh the the wanderer or the warden and uh cat thief had to stop uh <laughs> the jester uh-huh yeah and then bach is listening to this in the back on the good old days <laughs> but yeah, he's going on about it. It's basically uh, the uh, you get the warden seems to be Anik, uh, Shadow mm -hmm. Man is Lieli, mm -hmm. uh, Dwarf Girl who gets added on later on is Amber, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then he he just starts recanting this in a parody way of like, oh, it's close but not. It's too close. Teen Titans Go. No. No. Okay. No. 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 <laughs> ew, ew. Thunder Cats Ho. No. <laughs> it it still tells your story. Yeah. But it's like I'm think I'm picturing that kind of animation. Oh no no. It's more think of like the um think of like the Thundercats before Thundercats Ho. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, it's it, a newer it, version of Thundercats. It looks like a good like it sort of looks like a um it looks it's like a mixture of the older, like Silver Age comic style. Mm -hmm. And you know, the but with the approach of the modern stuff. It mm -hmm. looks like a re it looks like any time a modern comic tries doing the Silver Age look. Gotcha. It, but it's but a lot of the swearing stuff is censored like one of those. Oh, of course. And it's not you kill the enemy, you not you know, you took down the enemy. Yes, they have been thwarted. Yeah, they've been thwarted. So yeah. He goes on and starts explaining this and like, well, there was then I thought it was all gonna end because, you know, uh the ship uh mm -hmm. The failure. What happened on the ship? Well, they went flying and they got too close to the Shadow Man's thing, and then he he attacked them. Uh, the Shadow Lord thing. Shadow Man jumped off the ship after facing his mom. Mm hmm. And they hurt Axe Man. He couldn't get back up. And he he girl... was knocked out pretty severely, wasn't she? That wasn't she? It's like, yeah, he goes on about that. And he's like, then this new group came in and they were, you know, the, uh, the League of Avenging Heroes. And it's that's, like, that's a much better name. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, he goes on and then he tells the thing with the Redeemer. And, and then they had the relaunch. They had a relaunch. Well, yeah. It's like the new 52. I don't know what that is. <laughs> Nobody does. <laughs> Fuck the new fantasy. <laughs> Some of it was great. Some was great. Anyway. But a lot I hated. Uh, but yeah, he goes on about that and he's like, so they retold the story, but I, I'm trying to find my comic of it. And I, I was here yesterday. Now I can't find it. My sister's going to be mad because she gets she, she told me to keep that safe. What is your, what, what is her name, lad? I'm sorry. I didn't quite ask. Uh, Kid. Your name is Kid. Why don't you not tell me your name? What? You don't. Your name is actually Kid. Yeah. Or do you not want to tell me your name? No, my name's Kid. Okay. All right, Kid. I'm sorry. That's and also, um, Vok, roll me an insight check while it's going on. Vok and Arbuckle. 
And both have disadvantage? Uh, yeah. Other bitches. Arbuckle for insight? Uh, it? Both of you. All Sorry, right, for... you can't, can't balance the scales. Nope. For Arbuckle, it's a 27. And for Vok, it is... 13. 13. Okay. Vok, you sort of notice people get a little bit more lively as he's hyperfixating. Mm -hmm. Arbuckle, you uh -huh. notice it's to a strange point of like everyone's becoming talkative and excited about mm -hmm. things they're going through. Uh, some some people were having a bad day. They look like started cheering up too. Even uh -huh. like, even you two sort of felt it as it's like went through you for a moment, and you're like, it, you couldn't help but smile and. Mm -hmm. Be happy. So his or... mood is affecting everybody's mood. It seems like it, yeah. yeah. And then yeah. when he starts going a bit more stressed, uh, I assume Gilbell is by you, so you feel like that sensation drop. Mm -hmm. But you notice everyone else start to freeze a bit. It's like, um, well, yeah, and she's gonna be mad. But and when you start asking kid, he goes back to normal. The shop goes back to normal, and people are like, "What the fuck's going on?" Interesting. Uh, uh, but yeah, um. Well, uh, I'm kid. What? What? What is your sister's name? Uh, do you have your badge on you? No. Well, no? yes, but I I've had it inside out since we got here. Okay. Uh, why? I'm just curious. You know, maybe we can help you find your thing. It's just way your sister won't be mad. But if I refer to her, I'd like to refer to her by her name. Sally. Sally? Sally. And... <laughs> insight. Insight check. Roll <laughs> insight. Uh... Being tormented this key yesterday. That's fine. Yeah, but Dean's dead, so it's fine. <laughs> 21. All right. Uh... No, more than that. I'm looking at the wrong profile. Um... I know it's less than that because I'm looking at the wrong number. Ah! Uh, fifteen. So I rolled a four. Well, beats my twelve within that one. Nice. Uh, you get a sense he's lying. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'll, I'll I'll tag that that I realize that he's lying, but I'm not going to push it because I also I realize. What's going on? All right, there, lad. Um, kid, sorry. Do you, do you mind if I call you a lad? I kind of call everybody lad. Okay. All right. Um, let's just see if we can help you find your book that you're that you're missing. Okay. And I'll I'll lead them towards another side of dwarf books. Uh huh. And I'll mention I like to a for. Gilbella, and I'm pretty sure she still has the book. I guess I would have given it back to her. All right, you you would have given it. I was going to ask you if you yeah. had it on your who had it. I, as we were walking over, I would have given it back to her because it's hers. What I'm going to sleight of hand it into the lost and found. Okay. And I'm going to see if I can. I do. I realize that it's a range thing that's going on. I don't want to mitigate. I would say probably Vok and Gobel would mm -hmm. feel like do you feel a weird twinge of like mm -hmm. uncertainty? So yeah. They could e what, they could easily How far out. is one side of the bar uh, of the store to where the lost and found is? Because I'm taking to the other feet. side to Okay, so I'm gonna take them to a, another part of the bar or bar of the store to look around. All right. To get them away to get my radius away. Okay. So, what you do? These Gobel's heard tosses it in the bag. Mm -hmm. Um. Is your thought is? It's like 
He just goes on uh, but, about. But maybe it's over here. Let's tell me more about the Cesarook. And this is a this is a very interesting story. I would love to take a look at this book once we find it. That got uh, weird. Roll persuasion. <laughs> I'm just trying to distract him. Oh, I, I, as, I, I know exactly performance where in. it is. Roaming performance in, I guess. Because it's more of the situation of you trying not to come off as the weird old man. Yeah. I'm trying not to lure him into the van, Bella. <laughs> She's not here. We can't I'm just her. trying to be cool. Be like, look, tell me about the story. Let's look over here. Did you, were, you, were you sitting over here while you were talking? Maybe maybe somebody moved it and they saw maybe you left it behind and they ran it over here. Let's take a look. Um, and this is performance. Yes, please. Thirteen. Thirteen. I rolled a twelve. <laughs> He's a bit okay. So what else are these? The new characters. Those were the interesting ones. The the what do they call it again? Uh, they're a sage. Well, mm. the wise old sage. The oh, wise old sage. Clearly, tell that was you, Arbuckle. Mm -hmm. Uh, the kleptomaniac, the klepto paladin, or sorry, mm -hmm. the shiny bandit. That's what that was called. Shiny, hi. They were, uh, they were raised by the fae and thus have a fascination with all shinies. Hi. Was there anybody else in this group? Uh, well, and then he goes on about the. Uh, <laughs> they call it, it was called uh, the Purple Princess. Mm -hmm. And he also mentioned that she got her own spin off after she left, but it made him sad that she left because he liked I, the character. Some, sometimes it does happen that way, though. But you never know, that story might be even better in the long run. It's And then he goes on basically as a political thing, and that he, he liked the more recent one where there was an attempted attack on her. There was an attempted attack on her in the story. Mm hmm How did that end up? Well, luckily they stopped. Luckily she was able to stop it before, before she got hurt. Well, yeah. But it's, uh, Shadow Lord was messing with that stuff too. Mm-hmm. Did the book ever say who the Shadow Lord was? Or is that an ongoing question? Sir, Icebox Protocol has been completed. <laughs> 30 minute cooldown successful. Jesus, what? Who said that? Roll me. This is, uh, this is a weird story. Roll me. <laughs> you see, it's like he freezes for a moment. Mm -hmm. Uh, no, I, yeah, it, it, it's more of a. Um, it's more of a secret they're trying to reveal mm. later. That haven't yet. I haven't revealed yet. And then what am I rolling? If you want to roll insight, you can. Yeah, 22. It would have been a 31. Yeah, no, I want you to know something. Fuck you too, because I this is the perfect <laughs> counter. It would have been a 27. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. But it's only a 17. Yeah. So yeah, you get you know he's not. It doesn't come off as if the book doesn't tell you that, as when he talks about the book, you can tell he's not lying. Mm -hmm. But it's more of he knows who it is. It's more of a case of, like, he you get the sense that he knows who it is because he'll try switching directly into the book after that. Can I roll to see if I can realize... Because I know this kid. this kid's doing something. Whether he's... I don't think he's just an innocent kid. Um, roll. Can I insight into him? Or I'll, or con whatever you want me to roll. Her. Her. What? Roll insight. Insight. Eighteen. Arbuckle. Yeah. I'm feeble-minded again. No, you're not oh. feeble-minded. Uh -huh. It's not the exact same sensation you felt when first encountering them. Except mm -hmm. it's similar enough. Something natural within them. 
And the only time you remember experiencing that was the fear aura from Umbra, the Black, back in the Crown Kingdom. You don't get a sense this that kid is, you know, any way trying to be mean. Mm -hmm. But he looks like he was told to keep a secret. Mm -hmm. And from the way that he talks, it's less of the fact of he doesn't like he will tell the truth, but he has he is more like he got told by some you know, like a kid trying to keep a secret who always likes to talk. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I I went here and I did that and I like he went on, it was like a forty minute hyper fixation thing Mm -hmm. of all the stuff. I am suddenly remembering a one shot that I participated in a long time ago. Do you that remember so the? Yeah, you and saw I your remember... character yesterday. Yeah, I, and I remember or you... last session. And, and I remember talking to a child that was also like a dragon child and and whatnot. And we got to see things and he, he showed us his horde and his family's horde. Mm-hmm. But you're not here. No, I'm not. No, I'm just glad you finally picked up on it, Luna. Was I in that one shot? No, that was one you missed. That was me, Leo, and Bella were playing that one. Yeah, uh, my number one clip of as easy as one, you know. One, two, three, what's the puzzle? <laughs> okay. All right. Well, we have a way to get back to the ship. I just thought of something that I forgot I did. What'd you forget? I set up a a temple on the ship. Oh yeah. Or the recall. recall. So we yeah. So we can get back there. But yeah. Um Um I just want to see something. But yeah, basically to summarize what you got is his whole thing is like a kid who got told not to tell someone something and he mm-hmm. doesn't want to get in trouble. That is the exact reaction he is having to this stuff. Yeah. Listen, and... I'm going to do something that's going to help him. Yes. Yeah. Go ahead. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. sorry. One more thing I'll point out with that insight check too and the previous ones you've had. It's not the fact of he was told not to tell about the Shadow Man part that scares him. So he, it's like the shadow man, he knows who he is. He doesn't want to say his name because mm-hmm. that scares him. Not like a thing if he's trying to hide it. It's more of a thing like he shuts down as he's trying to keep. Does Vok clock that a look when he says, when he when he doesn't want to say the name? Roll me inside to check, Vok. Am I still 80 feet away? You can if you want. <laughs> Oh, wait, if you're 80 feet away. Yeah, I'm not clocking it. I need feet away. Actually, wait. So I wouldn't be. Are you by Gilbella by chance? I'd probably be halfway in between the two of them. Okay, yeah, no, it's... you felt it. Because when Shadow Man got brought up, mm-hmm. you felt the fear. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then as soon as... And I found... realized that he doesn't want to say the name. Yeah. And I remember back in my times of the name being sacred and whatnot. And I'm, I'm about putting two and two together here and getting seven. Um, all right, all right, my little friend. Um, I'm gonna do something here. I don't want you to get nervous. It's so I can help find help find your book. It's a little bit of magic, if that's okay. Okay. All right. And I'll just do the somatic components and whatever, whatever. And I'm going to cast True Seeing on myself. All right. As you cast True Seeing. 
he is still the form of a child. However, the aura he gives off, the mm -hmm. magical weave, is that of an ancient dragon. Mm -hmm. It is sort of funny, too, because when you see this, the kid is nervous, and the dragon, too, is very much nervous also, mm -hmm. as is, like, the book. Does, does the order give off the color? Oh, Roll me. Yes. Oh. I'll say Arcana or History. Gene is so happy to be dead right now. Why? Because of his fear of dragons. Yeah. <laughs> um, this is the third time that you compelled me to fuck all my mouth. Uh, what was that? 16. 16. From the face, like the aura gives off the body almost like mm -hmm. a mishap body, it doesn't give off the color. I didn't know if maybe the aura had a color to it, maybe not really. It's more of just okay. a glow it gives, but mm -hmm. from the structure of it, it's a metallic one, mm -hmm. it's uh, brass, copper, mm -hmm. something, maybe something along that line. Gotcha. Okay. Um, and I will look around. I'll look and look, make like I'm, you know, play it up that I'm looking for and like, oh, this is really good. Do I see anything else in the room? That's weird. Um you see anything else in the room? Roll me perception. This one is a seven. That's great. And the second one was an eight. So, a seven, that's 23. 23. You do notice they're looming. They're watching. An arcane eye. Mm -hmm. It seems to be following the kid. Mm hmm doesn't seem to notice but yeah they, that it does it's strictly following the child it's following him it's looking around mm -hmm. is it following Arbuckle also well Arbuckle's right next to the kid so yeah yeah Um, I'll make my way back over to the Lost and Found, looking around as I go. You don't see the and... comic. You see, I don't see. You see huh? the book. The book. You see where the comic was. Uh -huh. Is this massive book? It's a tome. You open it up. Uh huh. I'm assuming you're going to look through it before you hand it to him. Mm -hmm. Everything's written on that page. What you see evoke. The form it has taken. And the form that it truly was. Mm -hmm. And its pages go back beyond anything else. It begins. It begins... When the first children of the heavens had emerged. Mm -hmm. You see pages on pages of everything that has occurred. Uh, oh. Okay. I Um, yeah. I'll see the book. See all that. In the back of his head, he's going, fuck, I don't want to get this back to him now. He doesn't say that out loud, though. <laughs> eh. But, 
He will give him back the book. All right. Oh, look. I seem to have found it. Uh, thank you, mister. What's your name? Oh, name's Arbuckle. Thank you, Arbuckle. Mr. Arbuckle. So, some say, might say I'm something of a sage. Sorry. Yeah, that, that wasn't good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I don't care. I'm sure he could put together the the word. Yeah. No, he looks I'm at... sure he would have not even me no, even before I said it. What? The, I'm sure the kid's not stupid. Yes and no. Okay. Then maybe I didn't say that. But no, as you say that, he looks mm -hmm. at you and goes and like I just give him a wink. These are good stories. Maybe someday I'll try and find a store where I can find these books myself. I'm just kidding, but you can. Uh, do you know my sister? I don't. Uh, Sally, I said her name was. Yeah, it's like he's looking around real fast. You see, like, the flare of magic within his eyes. Mm -hmm. And then he's going to, like, uh, start. He, like, sort of takes a comic and starts running off. Mm -hmm. Be careful, kiddo. I don't chase after him. Okay. You don't want to chase after him? No. I poked the bear enough. It's not the case of you guys looking at it when you when you realize that. Mm -hmm. He said it with excitement about if you knew his sister. Mm -hmm. And then the same reaction you saw when he when you asked him about the shadow the shadow lord. Mm -hmm. Did he he had that same reaction when looking around he saw his eyes flare up for a moment. And he mm -hmm. just books it out after that. Do I realize when his eyes flared up what that was? It looks like it detect magic. Though, mm -hmm. without any verbal or somatic components. Mm -hmm. I, I told him that I had done magic, so if he saw something, me still having true seeing up. That's... Would he have known what I had? Let's see. What level is true seeing again? Six. You're actually lucky. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you rolled a exactly. you rolled a one. You rolled a sixteen. Oh. Okay. The lowest one was a sixteen. Top one was a twenty. Okay. But he doesn't. So run he out. was. Oh, uh, he looks at you guys and he sort of like takes your hand, Arbuckle, and like runs with uh -huh. you out. Oh. And Here you just go. see as a person Bach who's is gonna follow. Quote, you see as a person who's with like where the eyes <laughs> cast dispel mm -hmm. magic, and starts mm -hmm. <laughs> just starts walking out of there. Mm -hmm. Um. Where, where are we going? He was watching us. Who was watching us? The Shadow Lord. Is he still watching us? As you look and he looks, you don't see the mm -hmm. eye anymore. Mm -hmm. How long is this left? Uh, like eight hours. Less for an hour. An oh, hour. an hour. Okay. Oh, I'm thinking uh, future sight. Mm -hmm. But yeah, um, you see, it sort of brings you to the side. Oh wow, it's not concentration either. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> it's just kind of there. It's just there, as like he brings you to the side, and he's like a little bit out of breath. Well, sure. I'm, okay, I'm, buddy. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for lying. It's okay. To I'm sorry. It's okay. Hey, it's all right there, lad. You were trying to protect yourself. You said something was watching you. Um, oh, uh, okay. Uh, well, my, my sister is, is Zephyr. She, yeah. I'm sorry, I lied. My sister's Zephyr? name is Zephyr. Zephyr. As you know that name. From my research that I just did. Yeah. You also know that name from the Battered Banner. Guildmaster Zephyr. Mother bitch! You saw this... <laughs> and you saw the same images within the study of Zalok as he was turning into tiefling, along with a human that looked a lot like Zephyr. So I would assume that the guild badge would be a good thing at this point. Mm-hmm. 
I'll be like, listen, listen, Matt, and I'll take my badge out. I'm sorry. You're safe. I'm just... No problem. You don't need to be sorry or not. You're safe. Here. Like he's he's really holding on to this book. Mm -hmm. so, um, I'm sorry. My, my... Tell me more about your book. My it's sister told me I had to keep going. it safe. Okay. Because Zalak was dying, and okay. I I've been holding on to it since. Uh, my my other sister didn't like that. Tried taking it from me. She took the other one. Who was your other sister? Uh, Do you not want to say the name? It's okay if you don't want to. No, I fucking didn't, I never came up with a name for the sibling. <laughs> so wait, wait, so one's name was Zephyr. Basically, yeah, Zephyr. The other one is. Mm -hmm. Hold on. <laughs> the one time I don't have a name prepared. Aranel. Ari Aranel. I figured two opposite sides of the alphabet. <laughs> and that's my twin. She doesn't. She she's uh. She's your Aranel is your twin. Mm-hmm. Okay. What is your name actually, kid, or is, do you have an agent and want to say that? No, that's what everyone calls me. Everybody calls you kid. Mm-hmm. Okay. Except me, I call you a ladder, buddy. Uh, now I'm going to call you a friend. It's like, he's sitting there, but it's still a little bit panicked over everything, because, mm -hmm. yeah, um, well, she, uh... Would you be more comfortable if we went back to the guild? I, I, uh, Have you ever like, been there? No, I just know when I see my sister, she has... Uh -huh. Is that bad? She wears the Sirogo. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Where is your sister now? Um, uh, it was used to be the Empire of Salak, and now it's called Guacamole. Guacamole. I don't no. think that's right. Uh, I mean, it, it is delicious. Gives me a heart now. She was in Zalak's kingdom. Okay. I still have Zalak's tome in my hat. That's Gilbella's book, correct? Mm hmm Is that the other book he's looking for? No. Or the sister tome? Above table, no, this is not. Okay. I'm not touching that because that's Gilbella's book. All right. But yeah, you just see, he's like, <laughs> he, he's just, uh, well, he does not know what the guild is. Okay. What, what? Who else is around here for you in this neighborhood? Well, Sue so, so can take me today. But what? Uh, you, he points towards the elf that he's with, Ariel, mm -hmm. as it was a case of, um, well, she's my friend. I, Helping me, she decided to help me come down here because I usually come down to see about the new stuff. Okay, the new stuff at, at Dwarf Fox. No, um, at the at the lair, and at he like lair. he points across the street, and you see like this. Uh, it looks like a <laughs> magazine. It's an stand. ancient castle. No, <laughs> it, it looks like a magazine stand that just sells like magazines and fantasy comics. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Why don't we go? What is is your friend? Is your friend coming this way? She's right by you, literally. Okay. Stand. Hello, friend. Hi. How are you? Yeah, I'm good. Do you know who I am? No. But Insight here knows you. Roll insight. <laughs> Actually, with your passive insight, you would know she's yeah. telling the truth. Okay. The name's Arbuckle. Arbuckle Jones. Nice to meet you. Um, our our friend here, our mutual friend here, has stories of our our doings. Yeah. Um. At this point, Vak would be kind of slunking behind. 
Okay. Making sure everything's all right. Um, I don't know what Gilbella would be doing also if she would come. I assume Gilbella is just following Vok. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Vok has shiny on? on his back. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, everything right down here. Hi. Hi. Everything's fine there, Vok. Yeah. Our new friend here just got a little, a little scared. Um, this is, this is, he, he likes to be called Kid. That's all right. I call a lot of people Kid. Um, and this is his guide, for lack of a better term. She's my friend. Your friend. It's, this is his friend. I'm sorry if I didn't get your name. I'm Aria. Aria. The name I just made up or a different one? No. Uh, Aria Aria. Is not Air, yeah. Because uh, basically it's Ariel, but Blade Bella would say it. Or it's literally someone else's character. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> there. This is... Ariel. 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 Um, his friend. Um, there's a lot going on here. A lot to unpack. And I'll guess exposition telling myself what I just experienced. All right. <laughs> and that'll help her to bring us to where we are now. Yeah, I saw a lot of that happening. I'm not a freaking idiot. I'm sorry. Not you. I was talking to the big dude. But you're cool. Um, Ariel. I saw you do something as they ran out. What was that? Um, I don't know the full story. Kid does not like mentioning that, but uh, uh -huh. basically, he has a sibling. He's been trying oh, to find he some he, stuff within his he, lair. He mentioned having two siblings. Well, two he has. Is that okay for me to discuss there, kid? Mm-hmm. Well, okay. technically, it's he has seven. How many dragons run the opening credits? <laughs> <laughs> he has nine. Nine. Oh, you've got nine siblings. Your parents should have got a TV. Um. Okay. But yes, so you um, did away with the thing. Yes, he's been. Someone's been trying to watch him ever since. Ah, uh, well, four months ago, that thing showed up. Uh huh. Okay. And so somebody's watching him. Is what you're saying. Mm -hmm. Is the thing still here, or did you when you got rid of it? it did uh, he it dispelled back? it. He can try. Someone's been trying to watch him. It's usually close, and we're not sure who. It seems to be a different person each time. Vigil had to take down someone about two weeks ago. Mm -hmm. Our other friend yesterday had to take down someone who was following him after meeting your friend there. Mm hmm. Cabela just goes. Mm -hmm. Pretty much. <laughs> I just see this look. We've been trying to deal with it more and more. Um, I would love to say we can keep kid in place, but he just uh, you know how children are. No offense, kid. I'm sorry. Don't Where are you sorry. guys staying? Those kids got to get some sleep every now and again, I would imagine. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, 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 but he's like raising his hand the whole time. It's like, what? 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 What do you have? Uh, you, what do you want to? Sh the temple. This is an open forum. The temple. The temple. Temple. Which temple? Uh, it. That way. It's like he points out 
but not like toward you get the feeling it's not towards the buildings it's miles out towards um, the mountain range that's he what has, you're saying he has a place and luckily kid can he might be small but he has some abilities I kind of okay Um, all right. So, uh, we have some, some friends that are about two days journey away. That might need a little bit of assistance from us. Um, do you think we could, is there... We want to make sure that you're okay. Are you guys okay here? We'll be heading out soon to certain spy in the mall. I know, kid, you like the comic... And she's learning Neil's out. I know you like the comic book shop here. Gotta go to another one, okay? You can go to our fresh comic book shop and see if they have a different, uh, different selection of books. Okay. Change is good sometimes, sir, lad. Goes down, ties the one shoe that's untied. Mm -hmm. I'll look at Ariel. Mm -hmm. Do you have a way that you will be able to contact us? If needed, or if we needed to speak again. Um, unfortunately, I don't really have one. I can see. Um, I might, I but I have a friend that might be able to. Who's your friend? His, well, his name's Sigil. He has some spell, more spell casting than I do. Okay. Where is your friend Sigil? Back at the temple. Oh, okay. How far away is the temple from here? If we were to go. I wish I could tell you that, but I don't really know anymore because and she sort of looks towards the kid is teleportation magic no okay as like okay. <laughs> lifts her up hi okay. i can i can i'm, I'm strong for my size if... i see that that is quite impressive kid how do pretty you pretty much you to get the temple? sense that he i run he's like Oh, you run. You run really fast, don't you? How fast do you run? How fast do you think you would move in six seconds? Uh... <laughs> and he's, he's looking around <laughs> and books it about a good 80 feet. Hey, well, that's fucking fast. Holy moly. Um... Wow. What? I have no way to try and keep up with him. No. <laughs> so your friend Sigil, would you be able to have them come here and meet us here? This uh -huh. way we can introduce ourselves and we know who we're talking to. Okay. Um. And you see as they all have a little, like, each of them have their own sending stone that's like a walkie-talkie mm -hmm. really thing, so the whole that you see as the Shatterkai emerges a few moments later. Yes. Mm -hmm. Um. Gonna... Hey, uh, yeah, so, so, this is this is my friend Arbuckle. This is, uh, uh... His name is Falk. Falk. And that one that's... is... Gilbella. Gilbella. <laughs> Sorry about that. I didn't mean to. We didn't do introductions. No, to be fair, Gilbella uh... introduced herself. <laughs> you forgot it. Okay. Well, fair. Um, Sigil is it. You're one of their friends. Yeah. All right. Um, We may need to get some contact with them again. And we were told that you may have a, a way 
you're more of the arcane user yeah. to be able to get. I just wanted to make an introduction so we would be able to make it a little easier for you. Okay. Um, we're friends of the kid and Ariel here. As he said, name's Arbuckle. Well, I'll shake his hand. Uh, True Seeing yeah. is still up at this point. Do I, um, do he's, I see anything? He's straight now? up a Shatter Kai. She's straight up an Elf. Uh, he's the gotcha. only one who's a bit weird. Gotcha. All right, there. Um, do you know where, where you'll be heading next? Um,. Just... I was more setting up everything, clean up around there, is because, um, well, we need to go back to Temple. He's getting watched again. Yeah. Okay, I I can bring him back from there. All right. So you guys, and where, and you were gonna move? You said you were moving on because you you couldn't stay around here too long, correct? Or is the Temple your your basic base of operations? Uh, how did? Uh, he, he, the kid chimes up because well, temple is my the temple is my home. Okay. All right. I got. I was told by my sister to keep it safe so that keep it secret. Keep it safe. They can't get it. Absolutely. All right. You go back to the temple with your friends here. We'll be in touch with you, and we'll uh we'll be in contact. Because I want to get to know you more, kid. And your stuff here. Okay. Okay. And you see, all like, right. the smile, and you all feel that aura of euphoria, that aura of happiness mm -hmm. hit over everyone. You literally see two people mm -hmm. getting into a fist, almost about to get in a fist fight, go to a bear hug. It's like, I'm Hello, sorry, man. bro. I'm, I'm sorry. Buddy. You're not a dickhead. <laughs> Actually, no, uh -huh. it's a bit weird because you're not a dickhead. You're not a but like he gives out kid insults when you feel you're under the this effect. You're not a total Stir waffle. <laughs> yeah, it's like you sound like a little <laughs> kid giving out an insult of like you a butt face. Mm -hmm. But yeah, mm -hmm. until it's done, it just teleports kid and Ariel mm -hmm. out. And once they're gone, Arbuckle will look at vacuum. Holy fuck! <laughs> it's yeah. been a long fucking day. Um, uh, we can get back to the ship by the way. I figure I remember that I did something, and now we have a way of getting back there. We can get back there instantly. Okay. Um, I'll Sorry. gather. Okay. Everything. <laughs> All right. Um, the fuck. This is information that would have been useful before we went. To I guess it was a good time we went to Thor. Fuck. Um, <laughs> hey, look, yo, Bella, something good came out of you stealing shit. Fighty drink. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. And I will get us all together, do whatever we need to do. And let me get back down to there. All right. I don't want a drink. <laughs> you know the rules. The rules are the rules. The rules are the rules. The cheese. The cheese. Fuck. I'm so, I'm so glad she was paying her, uh, uh, attention to that. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> what was the name of the spell? A uh, word of recall. Word of recall. That's right. I know, because Domar just got that spell. And <laughs> I haven't It's a made... wonderful thing. Oh, yeah. There we go. Can I use my 7th level slot for that? Yeah. You can always upcast. Yeah, because it doesn't do anything else, but... Oh wait, yeah. So I'll get everybody together. So uh, so we're within five feet of each other, and I will cast word of recall, and we will go back to the ship. All right, you head back to the ship. Mm -hmm. You see Oof. scorch marks mm -hmm. 
on the deck that are being patched up by, it looks like, the crew. Sid, you terrified Sid. Sorry, Sid. And it's like, no! <laughs> As you just notice the rest of your crew looking at you, a couple new scars on the ship itself, but everyone looking at least good. Uh, we're back. And from there, we'll leave it off. Come back next. Well, come back next week. Sound good? Sounds good. Sure. <laughs> All right, guys. We're gonna go right out to someone we haven't done to in a long time. So we're gonna right out to Black Hat Mo. Use the most if you got him. A the most of. Yeah, the most of. Additionally. We do have a book out. You can go check that out. You can go see it, use it, buy it for your DM, buy it for yourself. I don't care what you do with it. It's all, it's a Just buy it. Just buy it if you want to help out the guild. We also have a merch shop where you can go get uh, fabulous merch. No, you can't get Dwarf Bucks merch yet, but you can get something better. Drunken you Dwarf can. Nuts. Oh, Drunken Dwarf Nuts. Yeah, true. That was easier That's a than... competitor. Yeah. I... Dwarf Bucks should be like Elf Bucks. Because it's a little uppity. No, pretty much. it. <laughs> <laughs> it's the typical green logo, but but the uh, beard is more emphasized yeah. than the hair is. All right. But yeah, guys, thank you so much. Thank Hope you, you have DM. Time. Thank you, amazing players. And uh, yeah, keep calm, keep calm. We'll see you here next time. Nerds. Bye-bye. Oh, you have it.